Hello everyone and welcome back to Victory at Sea Pacific US Campaign Series Finale. This is it guys. I'm pretty sure that uh, we're gonna be able to end the game in this uh, episode. This is the episode that we've been waiting for as I stated in the last video. Um, we've gathered all of our fleets at Iwo Jima or just about to but just before we zoom in I wanted to show you the overall map strategic map so the only thing which we did not conquest is the south west of Asia and Hong Kong <laughs> for some reason the main reason is <coughs> there was no more challenge there um, there's no fleets left there's no opposition it was just gonna drag on and what we're gonna just build more war bonds and just prolong the inevitable here so I thought why don't we just jump into the action and uh, in this episode I'm gonna feature three main things I'm gonna feature first and foremost uh, the task force that I've built which we're gonna marvel at its beauty and try to <coughs> combine it all into one and just for fun just to see how you know what a big task force looks like and we're gonna send it up towards Japan, Tokyo. The second part I wanna feature is in Formosa we should have our uh, airfield hopefully ready to launch because if we are we're gonna get all of these guys to um, get B-29s and bomb the hell out of Japan. The problem is we do not have a lot of fuel so we're just gonna get one go at this with the fuel that comes with the new planes hopefully. The third part of this is going to be the atomic bombing of Hiroshima with the Enola Gay, the B-29 Super Fortress uh, just to see, experience that uh, and have a semi-repeat of, of history. Um, <coughs> the reason, I mean we couldn't do it until recently because uh, Iwo Jima has been repairing for so long um, but it's a good thing because otherwise I think the game asks you to do Hiroshima then probably Nagasaki and then it'll, it'll end the war right um, but then you wouldn't be able to see like the majestic fleet and then I don't expect to encounter anything um, any resistance but, um, and I would have liked to upgrade Iwo Jima as well and have these just massive bombing campaigns uh, just to, you know, see that. But I don't know if I will be able to do that in time. Um, the, the one thing I could do with these bombers is two things. I can just show you guys how a group of 10 B-29s can bomb something. Or I can show you how they can, I can just scout the whole area, see if there's any fleet so that our main fleet can uh, scout. But uh, I think we can probably use our own fleet scout so that we can just show you the bombing here. Uh, so we're waiting on Task Force 58 to join up. And this Task Force here. So let's speed up time here to get these guys there. Oh shit. I totally forgot that we had uh, that we had a fleet there. So guys, easy fix. Very easy fix. We're just gonna reload. <laughs> Sorry about that. I won't have to redo the intro. I'll just reload and uh, show you guys these battleships take care of these guys. Because I'm sure you guys would have liked to see that. So let's get them in a line formation. They are coming from the north. Actually, they're extremely close. So what we're gonna do is give them some distance. 
orient them roughly in the direction. Put them as far as we can. Just to give you a sense of how close we are to... Where this is Okinawa, or uh, Iwo Jima, yeah, and uh, I think our fleet is in there, the rest of our fleet. So, yeah, we're just gonna go and uh, deal with these guys. Alright, let's do this the proper way. So, let's look at our lineup. From the very left, I present to you the USS Colorado. Colorado class battleship. Rough. Next to it, we have the USS Washington, North Carolina class battleship. Uh, as I'm showing them to you, let me let me have them move. Next up, we have the North Carolina, North Carolina class battleship. And then uh, right next to that, we've got the Pennsylvania. And another of the old dreadnoughts. Here we've got the mighty Missouri, Iowa class battleship. Next to it, USS Tennessee, Pearl Harbor survivor. New Jersey, Iowa class battleship. And lastly, we have the Maryland, which I believe is a North Carolina class battleship. Or a South Dakota, can't remember. Honestly, sorry guys. Looking pretty beautiful. Speed up just a tad. We can see the fast battleships outrunning the dreadnoughts. Let's go to the top view real quick. See this beautiful formation from the top. These guys are obviously not very happy with the in this direction guys I think they're trying to skirt around us they're quite fast I must say uh, you guys need to speed up Let's do something here. Let's take some of our scouts. Oop, there they are. Never mind. Let's go to our Missouri. Oh, they waited for a night battle. Okay. See if that did the trick. Let's load a star shell here. Actually, it doesn't seem like we need star shells. Uh, torpedo cruiser.
concentrate the fire on the Maya. I see shells in the air. detonation all right let's focus on you going on here. Remember these guys, uh, these were really old cruisers. These are well, as much as DDs as they were cruisers. Almost World War One era, right? They're not modern at all. We got this guy ramming his body. that show, right? Task Force uh, 108, you can now recall all your fighters and join with uh, this task force. You guys uh, keep resupplying. As that's happening, Let's look at getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine P twenty nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get all these up there. Okay, B-29s, what do you guys want to bomb? How about Nagasaki? Or Kure? Because Kure was a major port. Let's see if this will work. We're gonna go into the heart of Japan with our B 29s. They might get shut down. Oh, really? You're gonna pause our game? Uh, fighter 
was trying to intercept our bombers and some of them are getting shot down we got air sirens going on let's see we got one two one two three four five six bombers left That didn't go very well. Uh, let's take you guys and ask you to bomb Nagasaki then. Or bomb. I think they dropped their bombs. You just never saw it. Get a whole bunch of uh, I call this cargo bay, cargo convoy bay. Anyways, that that did not work very well for us guys. So it's okay. I think next time uh, we'll go for another port that's closer or something. Fifteen carriers and task force one hundred. I think that matches the uh, historical task force fifty-eight uh, at the Battle of the Philippines. They had fifteen exactly. So, now that these fighters have followed us all the way, do we have any more fuel? I wonder. Low fuel. Let's wait for these guys to get out of our way, these fighters. And then let's go bomb. Alright, let's go to check these B-29s out. That makes me think, if I send the Enola Gay, it's not going to be very successful, is it? Shanghai. And sometimes these guys drop their bombs like way ahead. So we're doing uh, 7,766 meters of altitude. bomb reticle right here.
bombs. exactly what they're doing. Oh. Now they decided to turn back. I guess they were um, trying to select their targets. Remember guys, this, this port had 0% damage. And I think, here we go. This should be dropping pretty soon. Flyover, though. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing, guys. Okay, how about we drop you now, Vegeta? You're Shanghai? I feel like it. I heard hits. We did damage. Alright, so B29 bombing uh, animation could use some serious help. Well, at least we, we kind of showed you how that works. Now, with this task force, um, well, first of all, let's. That siren was a little bit annoying. This task force here. As the other task force makes its way. Let's uh, minimize all of you guys. And we're gonna do it by class. So you guys are the cruiser class. You guys are the CVs. You guys have your own guys. Okay. Uh, cruisers. DDs. So the DDs we're gonna put into the DD squadron. Cruisers are in the cruiser squadron. So we're 
we're gonna join you two cruiser squadrons together. If we can. There we go. You are Baker Cruiser Squadron. And uh, what I want to do is take you two, put you in Baker Squadron. First of all, let's. Um, the Casablanca. A little bit of an oddball. Put you in the CV Squadron. You guys are the BB squadron. DDs. Cruisers. One, two, three, four, five are CB squadron. Uh, click on you. Let's take the DD here. Princeton, go here, and the Bilal, stay by yourself. Okay, now that that's done, let's get this task force over to Iwo Jima. Keep seeing cargo ships. ships. Alright, let's go right here. Dark fleets. Let's click on task force right here. Let's minimize all you guys. CVs, okay. So do we have any CVs here? We do not. Wait, are you the cruiser squadron? You are. Peace. Peace. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You guys are going to CV squadron. Wait, no, you guys were not the CV squadron. this one more time. Right here. That's what I'm talking about. That's our CV squadron. Let's open up our uh, BB squadron, wherever you are. Right here. Take the South Dakota, please go join them. Indiana. Please go join them. And then, uh, DD squadron. Let's see, okay, you're the C squadron. So, one, two, three, four. So, Baker, easy squadron. DDs. Finally, we have the Iowa. Alright guys, for those who are interested in my composition, mostly at least most of my fleet, so we have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 cruisers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 DDs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 battleships. And the stars of the show. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 CVs, of which one is a CVE. So when you look, click here. <laughs> actually, actually, I could have just done this <laughs> instead of counting them. So if I ever face this a, a task force like this, um, yeah, that would be I would be pretty concerned. Now I can do two, one of two things. I can join these guys and have one massive bubble, or. I can do what Task Force 58 did and had four four task groups, which would be the smarter thing to do. So, yeah, we're gonna have five CVs in each group. One, two, three, four, five. You are gonna be one group. One, two, three, four. So we got eleven, so we should have three BBs per group. So we got the BBs going. And we should have I think we said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve. So we should have three DDs per group. I mean that's not very good, but very balanced but it, it is what it is and then we should have I think I said 20 some 20 cruisers how many cruisers do we have eight 12 22 cruisers so we're gonna have five cruisers One, two, three, four, five cruisers per task group. So you are one of the task groups. Congratulations. Now let's take one, two, three, four, five. Get you guys out there. One, two, three. Destroyers. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. You guys right here. Will be task group two. Two task groups going. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, 
six, I think. It's going to be a six group task group here. Uh, one, two, three. Battleships. And then one, two, three, four destroyers. And that's it. Then what we're going to do is take the two BBs, put them here. We're going to take uh, the cruisers. Holy shit, I forgot about the cruisers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. One, two, three. I think you guys need DDs. And in theory, the last remaining uh, DDs, uh, the last remaining group here should be going here because all they got is CBs, DDs, and BBs. Alright, guys, four task groups. Four task groups going on here and one submarine. And since I don't want to repeat that, I'm going to quickly save this <laughs> as what shall we call it guys part 20 um, what should we call it? nuking nuking Japan how about that All right. Now that we have this magnificent Task Force Eleven, what are our other task forces, by the way? We got another BB and another. Yeah, we got more CBs and BBs. Holy shit! <laughs> Anyways, so let's take this task force and head over here. Wow, <laughs> this is going to be hard to manage, guys. And we're doing 11 knots as a task force. It's interesting, probably because we have damaged ships. But you know what, it's okay, we don't need to be fast. Who needs to be fast? We are in August 1943. <laughs> Look at these brave. Okay. Now what we're gonna do, guys, is admire this task force. You guys ready for this? Here it goes. And of course it's night. the top view see what's going on here so it looks like there are three blobs even though there should be four blobs so that's one of them that's the second that's the third 
guys. gonna wait for day because we don't want to check this out at night let's wait for the day to come over it's uh, three o'clock in the morning four o'clock five o'clock there is the day Now that we have daylight, let's go check this out. Holy cow. We still have three blobs. Okay, let's check out this uh, from this view. So we got destroyer taking lead. It's a bit of an interesting formation. I think that has to do with the fact that um, one of the ships is doing 11 knots. It's damaged. That looks pretty beautiful though. I wouldn't want to venture into this AA. Lexington, Essex, another Lexington, Saratoga, Yorktown, North Carolina. Quite beautiful. See, this task force seems to be doing a lot better. Here we have uh, one, two, three, four carriers. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty damn impressive, guys. Pretty damn impressive. Got all these uh, planes with their wings folded. of this uh, thing you guys get the mo you guys get the point these guys still don't know what they're doing but it's okay as long as they kill jobs right all right so let's click let's take uh, who's gonna be the intrepid Intrepid, you're gonna be my uh, flagship because you carry the nukes. Are we within range? We're not yet. Okay. Mr. Intrepid, will you do the honors of doing the last scout scouting mission for us? Actually, 
let's just slow time down for a second so that we can make this easier on everybody. keeps going back to the submarine every time I click. We're gonna have the Lexington assist. slowing us down. It's the damn below. <laughs> Why don't you guys tell me? Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. Who's got who's got the the good the good planes guys? Hellcats won't do. Intrepid. Hellcats won't do. Saratoga. I think you do have Corsairs. A little beat up. Okay, so Saratoga and Lexington, I want you guys to do cap. Let's see if they will uh, get the hint. We're doing 21 knots, guys, now, which is the, uh, looks like they did not get the hint. Dive bombers. Why did you push three dive bombers? Okay, Lexington. I think I have to do this manually. Uh, Enterprise. Wasp and Hornet. Start launching some caps. Mr. Hornet? Or Essex? Some of these fighters. Oh, how cute.
launch our next wave of cap. Ticonderoga. Hornet. I want you to launch one, two, three. Ticonderoga. One, two, three, four. And Hornet. One more Hornet, please. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you See how this works. Sure. Go for the guys in the back. The guy decided not to go anywhere. Die bomber, okay. You guys are not very doing a very good job. fighters to uh, attack. Let's look at another group here. Franklin. something I think you just have to click them a million times These guys chasing each other. Is he 
they have this guy teleported? Can't believe these guys are Don't look at the number of planes that are up here. Come on, look at them. We're, we're right on top of them. Seriously, guys? Yes, sure. This is gonna crash my computer. Holy shit, this might crash my computer. No, okay, good. That is quite, quite impressive that that many fighters can do anything. or what I call a wave of <laughs> yeah guys I mean the air to air doesn't work but the surface stuff definitely does torpedo, 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 torpedo What if I um, right click and defend? We launch fighters. The uh, aircraft land. That is something that, that is extremely RAM or CPU intensive or whatever. By the way, we just broke 10,000 war bonds. <laughs> you know, these fighters just. Okay. I guess the uh, not the best fighter war guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, now that that's over, let's take our um, guy here and 
bon, plus loin, je suis mort. Well, that's happening. Let's go here. Um, and get these guys in the air. Lexington. Uh, do you have Corsairs? No. Saratoga has Corsairs. The other Lexington, I think, has Corsairs. We're gonna defend the Noel Gay. I don't know why the task force is doing. 31 knots. It's to Enterprise. Uh, go over here. It's to Wasp. I think you're uh, Essex. Guys, let's watch Dinola Gay do her thing. Approach Hiroshima. Hopefully, it won't be as uh, bad a show as the other B 29 Super Fortresses. Alright, we're getting closer. This is the moment of truth, guys. It's the moment of truth. Drop the atomic bomb on Hiroshima. Enter combat. Target Fleet, Kure, and Hiroshima. We are in the heart of Japan, guys. That is the mighty Kure Harbor. Looks like we're going to do a night bombing here. Here 
goes. There it is. Just about to be intercepted by fighters. care about your enemy vessel right now. Where are you bombing, buddy? Okay, I think he's turning around maybe? Buddy, you gotta drop. Where are you going? <laughs> Guys, where is this guy going? Where are you going, buddy? Hiroshima is this way. Oh, was I supposed to? This is bad, the zeros are here. This is really bad. <laughs> These guys are gonna save Japan. Oh, there goes the unlucky <laughs> guys with the new. <laughs> say that it's uh, not an interesting uh, take on uh, history. Right? Can't say that it's not. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. Who needs nukes? Uh, on Tuesday, 24th of August, 1943, it took off the bomber primary target was a senior. However, it failed to reach its target. Our second atomic bomb, Fat Man, has been loaded aboard the medium. Dropped the bomb on Nagasaki. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do that. Oh. Go, go bomb it. So we have a. Uh, it appears that the Enola Gay is being repaired or replaced. Well, that's happening. Let's head towards Tokyo. There goes the um, fat man. This time I'm gonna push the button myself, guys. Gotta make uh, history a bit more interesting, huh? And it's funny because I call this episode the bombing of Hiroshima. Oh, kind of, <laughs> kind of ironic. All right. 
Mr. Fatman, are you going to do better? Enter combat, yes. Let's do this. Hello. Forgot what this one's called. I know the other one was the Enola Gay. Where are you, Nagasaki? Fleet? Nagasaki, okay, right there. I think the lag is from... Um, from my uh, other... bridge real quick. What is going on here? Okay, never mind. You don't have to be too accurate with this thing. Sorry for the lag, guys. I think the lag is due to all these convoys. I experienced it before. It's just the game can't handle all these convoys being in this area. Yes, I don't care about the enemy vessels. I'm doing a very important mission here. Thank you very much. Okay. I see Nagasaki. I think we're... Uh challenging for me, huh? Alright. A little bit... A little bit to the, uh... Left. Thank you very much. Uh, I think a bit to the right. I think that's looking good guys, what do you guys think? Maybe a bit more to the right Yeah, I would say drop Drop the bomb
Maybe I just suck at dropping nukes, guys. It's just... Anybody see nukes? Oh, I don't see nukes. I mean, he dropped the bomb. He does not have a bomb on him. I just don't know where it landed. Or if it landed at all. That guy's actually scouted. Well, that's good. It's marvelous. Ooh. Where's the explosion going on? A second atomic bomb, Fat Man, has been loaded aboard the B-29 Box car. It's designated for a secret Nagasaki. American forces have dropped an atomic bomb on Nagasaki, the second such attack on Japan in zero days. The bomb was dropped for an American B-29 bomber at 13.09 local time. In a statement issued by Guam, from Guam, General Carl Spatz, commander of the U.S. Strategic Air Forces in the Pacific, said the second use of the atomic bomb occurred at noon, August 9, at Nagasaki. Are we August 9th? We are August 25th. Okay. Good result. No further details available until f mission returns. To our good and loyal subjects, after pondering deeply the general trends of the world and the actual conditions of obtaining in our empire today, we have decided to effect a settlement of the present situation by resorting to an extraordinary measure. We have ordered our government to communicate to the the governments of the United States, Great Britain, and China, and the Soviet Union that our empire accepts the provisions of their joint declaration. That's it, guys. That's, that is it. One bomb was sufficient. One bomb. And a... Uh, task force with 22 carriers that's all it took let's uh, watch this slideshow and that's it guys Thanks for watching the US campaign series. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry for the bugs, I mean, couldn't be helped. And sorry for the videos taking too long sometimes. Um, but as you can see, when you accelerate time a lot, you end up, things happen quickly and you end up losing ships left and right. Uh, it's not it's just not as efficient, but I will consider being more efficient with higher time speeds in the next campaign so this was the first uh, game and the first time I had a channel on YouTube as I said um, let me know in the comments any suggestions you have on uh, what you liked what you didn't like what you like to see in the future videos um, I'll briefly explain my plan uh, I do plan to do the IGN campaign probably on hard uh, and uh, I plan on doing a commentary video after this on uh, what I experienced during the US campaign and all the bugs for the developers and all the uh, and any tips basically I'll do a tips and bugs tips for players and uh, basically share what I learned about the game balance compositions what you should be building what you shouldn't be building uh, things like that. Just a general commentary on the US campaign and the game. Um, then yeah, as I said, I'll launch into the IGN campaign. And then I will do, be doing a series of videos, uh, either tutorials or uh, combat, or com um, testing different scenarios. And uh, and once those things are done, um, I think I'll, 
be featuring a couple other games here um, and I hope that you guys will enjoy them thanks for watching again appreciate all your support the subscribes the likes the comments and I shall see you in the next video and in the next uh, series thanks for watching